<laughs> All right, we are live on YouTube. How is everybody doing today? How are you all doing today? <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. <sighs> it's a beautiful day here in Redwood City, California. Beautiful Redwood City, California. Climate best by government test. The number one climate in the entire U.S. and the third best climate in the entire world. Born and raised here, bred here, however you want to say it. Home is where the heart is at. Like I've always said in the past. Waiting for that truck to go by. Like I've always said in the past. Just a bunch of cars just pulling in all of a sudden. Wow. I guess that it's that time of day. There's a Texas license plate. I know lots of cars coming in here right now. All at once. Some people get off of work around this time. Some people work like the 5 to 1.30 or 6 to 2.30 or 7 to 3.30 shift and stuff like that. Well, let me cross while I get a chance here. We've got seven people in the box here. Thank you so much for being here. Four thumbs up. Please smash the thumbs up and share this out on your community tabs and on social media wherever you have a following that you feel would benefit tremendously from positive and uplifting content. That's what we do over here. It's just a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <clears throat> and today I have a uh, an out of sequence show. This is not an official Walking with Purpose live stream. Episode number 398 will happen tomorrow. This is like a, a special impromptu walk with Coach Eli. Hey, babe. Respectfully, maturely, and professionally. Hey there, everyone. Welcome. Hey, babe. How are you doing? It's great to see you here. As always. I can't wait to see you on Saturday, babe. We're going to have a phenomenal time this weekend. Let me just wait. Go ahead. You got it. We're going to have a phenomenal time this weekend. Uh, very nice uh, <clears throat> gentleman was uh, waiting for me to pass on by, and I waved him on by, and he said, thanks. What a good dude. That's how people are. That's how normal people behave. They're nice and they're friendly. You know? And they're helpful. Right? And they've got no alternate agenda. And that's what I try to teach people as part of my, you know, coaching business. You know, treat people the way you'd want to be treated. I mean, I say it over and over again, and it's like the oldest phrase in the book, right? But it's true. Treat people the way you'd want to be treated. And I feel amazing today. i got to tell you, folks, I feel amazing today. I'll get to the point of the show here just a little bit. Just going to wait for some more people to get the notification and pop on in. <clears throat> but yeah, like I was saying a second ago, my lady and I are going to have a great time this weekend, as we always do. Autism mom of two, how are you doing? 
<clears throat> hey, hey, everyone. How you doing? Autism Mom of Two. Welcome to the show. <clears throat> Excuse me. My uh, Allegra, or Allerfex, Allegra makes it for Costco. My Allerfex allergy medication is kicking in, so pardon me. Somebody just pop in there. Hey, J-Rom, how you doing? Says, hey, bro. How's it going, man? Hope your day is going well. Great to see you here. Yeah, my lady and I are going to be stepping away from YouTube pretty much all weekend. That's what I was telling her last weekend. You know, we're going to go out and do some things. And we're not going to tell you where we're going until afterwards because, uh, <laughs> you know, we, we, want, we want some uninterrupted time. <laughs> we don't want anyone knowing where we're at. <laughs> You know the paparazzi, right? <laughs> That's the YouTube paparazzi, right? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I've just got to say, hey, Roxy, how you doing? Welcome to the show, Autism Mom of Two. I'm good. How are you? And at RMP, we're doing quite well. And thank you for stopping by the Coach Eli Mod group page uh, or Mod group chat behind the scenes. On Facebook, it was great to hear from you. We're doing well. Roxy, how's your day going? Have you gotten on those dating apps yet, Roxy? You putting yourself back out there? And finding that great guy to spend quality time with? Because they're out there. You just have to try. That's all it is. You have to, that's all you have to do is just try. Keep trying and you'll find the right person. <clears throat> Autism mom of two. I'm not too good with the chat, LOL. Oh, you're doing just fine, autism mom of two. Autism mom of two, the one thing that if you allow me to help you with is to help build up your confidence. I'm not saying you're not confident at all, but you're a very nice lady. And you don't want to offend anyone. And even though you know and I know us, we both know that you're good at things that you are saying you're not. You're very humble. And that's the way you were probably raised. And I, and I respect and appreciate that. But there's a lot more confidence deep within yourself that I'm going to help you bring out. And so is my lady. Because you're, you're a wonderful person. And we want that, you know, wonderful, positive energy to spill out into the world. Because you've got a lot of great gifts to give this world. We're going to help you with that. If you allow us. You have to allow us. People have to allow us to help them. You have to be open to the help. Nightbot timed uh, J-Rom out. What did J-Rom say? Can somebody with a mod wrench read what J-Rom uh, sent and uh, put it out here? Roxy, I'm doing good. Nope, not yet. One thing at a time. Started walking again on day two. Wonderful. Big round of applause, Roxy. Big round of applause. Hats off to you, babe, if you're around. Give Roxy a little handshake emoji or something or a clap or something. You ladies are good at that emoji shit, you know. You love that because you're emotional beings. Nowadays... Ladies will express their emotions any way they can, even with emojis, emoticons, right? <laughs> the EM part is for like, it's, em it's an emotion. It's expressing an emotion. That's why they're called the, e you all knew that, right? Ladies love emojis and emoticons. <laughs> so yeah, my lady and I are going to be uh, getting away for a little while. <laughs> well, some other people live and die YouTube all weekend, and that's all good. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you all can have fun without me this weekend, okay? <laughs> what are you going to do with yourselves? <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> Mm. 
autism mom of two says he said just don't be like me i don't care i offend just saying he didn't say anything wrong nightbot is aggressive yeah there are some words that spill over that aren't technically supposed to be getting blocked but they're spillover words for other people that would be using them in a sentence and then it would just basically you know it basically that that's one of those some words are spillover and that's what happens well coach j-rom you know i i have to say i think hey nc is queen how you doing welcome to the show great to see you here You know, I think that uh, Coach J. Ram says, see, I even defend the Nightbot. Well, at least you're having fun with it, and that's what it is. No, I think, Coach J. Ram, you know, every one of us, no matter how experienced we are, we're all a work in progress. I'm a work in progress. Coach Corey Wayne's a work in progress. Even at eight, I think he's 52 or 53 now. He's about four or five years older than me. And I think that, you know, you've come a long way. I've come a long way. We've all come a long way. And I think probably what you meant to say is, you know, you know, don't be like, you know, we've been in the past, right? And just because we made some more positive changes as we've gotten older, it doesn't mean that we're not going to have some moments where we relapse, right? back to what we worked through that would affect us in our younger days. Well, I get it. I totally get it. Got eight people here and we've got uh, five thumbs up. I coached Jerome, I put in four yesterday and Nightbot timed me out. Yes, that's going to happen because I have some addresses blocked with numbers. And see, his queen just got timed out. No, I mean, I am unapologetically offensive. Well, that's a very interesting way to look at it, Coach J-Rom. I think in other words, what you're trying to say is that you're brutally honest. You know, that's, that's how I am, but that's a, that's your own style of saying that you're brutally honest. I get it. That's good. And see, his queen says that autism mom of two with the two hearts. Got to wait a little bit longer here today. And get basically to the point of this uh, of this stream. Do you folks like the thumbnail today? How many of you saw the thumbnail today of the stream and the title? I love it. That's a good way to nice it up. So you're saying that brutally honest saying that you're brutally honest is a nicer way of saying you're unapologetically offensive <laughs> they're practically the same thing but I get what you're saying I'm brutally honest but if I end up realizing that what I was brutally honest about was a mistake and it was proven to be a mistake I would apologize I don't have a problem apologizing if it's warranted Right? If an apology is warranted, I will apologize. But I won't apologize just to apologize. That makes men weak. That makes people weak in general. Respectfully, maturely, and professionally says, that's what we are here for at Autism Mom. Right. Right. So before I get started here, before I get started here today, I keep getting interrupted by the chat. RMP. 
says NC is queen with the two hearts. Coach J. Ron says, I'll apologize for a mistake. Well, that's good. That's good. That's that's the right way to live a life. That's being on the right side of morality, right? Coach J. Ron, you're on the right side of morality. That's how I am. I live with good old fashioned morals, values, and ethics. Yeah, absolutely. See, Coach J-Rom and Babe and Autism Mom of Two and NC is Queen and anyone else that's here right now, I believe in karma. I've always believed in karma. And one of my most famous phrases that I practically borrowed because I didn't create the phrase, it's been out forever. Karma has no deadline. It's something that I've been referring to you know, many times out here on YouTube. And, you know, there's two sides to karma. There's good karma and there's bad karma. And karma is going to coincide and or align with whichever set of karma you choose to live your life. If you choose to do more negative and hateful and bad things, karma is going to bite you in the ass at some point. Karma is going to bite you in the ass, right? But if you are on the good side of karma, karma has endless possibilities to take you wherever you want to go to in the future. Autism Mom of Two at RMP, I am wanting all the help and advice I can get. I need positivity. All is welcome. We got that. We got you. Let me get back to that in a second. NC is Queen says, I find it hard to apologize for my mistakes. I find it difficult to forgive. Well, NC is queen, and I'm not trying to get too personal, but that has to stem from somewhere. Does it stem back to your childhood and your upbringing? Is there unresolved trauma, or is there something like, a, like you went through a bad marriage or breakup or something that's put you in that state of mind? Because typically that's what happens with people. To the, you know, to, and, and for some people, it, it takes them to the point of where they just can't trust or forgive anyone. And the bottom line is this, I used to be that way for a point in my life, like in my early 20s. After I went through my first breakup from my, with my high school sweetheart, and then my second breakup, it was really painful and I was about to say F women. And I did say F women, I didn't date for a year. And then I forgot how much testosterone I have, or I had back then, I still have it to this day, don't get me wrong. At 48, almost 49 years old, I still have a lot of testosterone, but started to miss women so I put myself back out there you know and I started to realize that hey sometimes things just don't work out if it's not meant to be it's not meant to be yeah whenever you go through a breakup even if you figure it out like I did back then it's still gonna stink for a little while but at least at that point you're gonna know that hey you know let it go put it behind you that was then, this is now, keep moving forward. Find somebody else that's better, right? You can never shut yourself off from being emotionally open and emotionally available and emotionally aware, right? The moment that you're emotionally unavailable, it's going to affect all aspects of your life. People are going to have difficulty dealing with you because... They're not going to be able to communicate with you. And if they do, you're going to think that there's always something wrong with what they're saying. Or they're trying to take something from you. Or hurt you in some capacity, right? But that's not the case. What matters most, like I always say, is how you feel about yourself. And the only opinion of yourself that really should ever matter is your own. And any other opinion that you choose to value. And it's up to you what opinions you choose to value and which ones you choose to ignore and not value. But don't let those ones that you choose to ignore and not value get to you or make you feel that what these people are saying. You know, some people that come at you in negative ways are, and they say negative things. Don't allow these people to get you to believe that what they're saying is true because it's not. It usually isn't true.
And the truth of the matter is, the more and more people that hate you, there's a reason for that. The more and more people that hate you, it's because they see value in you in some capacity. And they wish they could be like you in some capacity. And there's a lot of truth to that. And anyone can challenge me on that, and we can talk about it. I'd say my upbringing says NC is queen. Coach J-Rob says, I bet NC spent a lot of time apologizing when she was younger and is making up for it. At Coach j 100. NC, like me, learned apologizing is seen as weak and screw that. Well, I disagree with that, Coach j Rom. Respectfully. I disagree. And, you know, about apologizing being seen as weakness. Actually, I see it the other way. Now, there are times where apologies are not necessary and they're not warranted. If you're a man or a woman, but especially a, if you're a man that apologizes when it's not warranted, that's pathetic and weak. But if an apology is warranted and a man doesn't apologize, that's a sign of weakness, emotional weakness, and, and it's an insecurity. That's just my opinion, right? Respectfully speaking. Everyone has their own opinions and the way they want to handle things, but, you know, I think the majority of people, you know, understand what I'm saying is that if you make a mistake, let's say you're a man that makes a mistake and an apology is warranted and you don't do it, there's a reason why you're not doing it because you've been hurt before, you've apologized before, and then people pretend to accept your apology and then they screw you over again. I get that, right? But it doesn't matter if they keep screwing you over because you can just ignore them, right? You apologize and you walk away politely and stop hanging out with those people that are screwing you over, right? I didn't say all apologies are weakness. I meant excessive apologies. Oh, you're right. You're absolutely right, Coach Sharon. You're absolutely right. And I think a, a, a better way to put it may be if an apology is warranted, that's one thing. But if you apologize when it's not warranted, that's a sign of definite weakness. It is. It is. Just as, you know, not apologizing when it's warranted is a weakness too. Apologizing when it isn't warranted has the same weakness effect on the man as not apologizing when it's warranted. So again, apologizing when it's not warranted is a weakness. And when it's warranted and not apologizing, that's a weakness too. I think it's about men and women. But in this case, I more so say men because, you know, women are emotional beings. And, you know, it's a little different when it comes to women. But for men, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a different thing because our, our emotions are processed differently. Hey, GLM, how you doing? Party's here. Hey, how you doing? Respectfully, maturely, and professionally says, I disagree as well. Owning your mistakes shows more strength than weakness. It also shows maturity, right? And that's something that's lacking in many men and women in the modern world. It's taking men and women a lot longer to mature in this modern world. And some men and women will just never mature. There's a whole side of YouTube out here that I feel will never mature. But hey, to each its own, right? At GLM says NC is queen with the two hearts. And GLM says NCQ with the two hearts. How you doing, GLM? How's your day going? Hope you're doing well. Great to see you here. Hello at GLM. Good to see you, says Autism Mom of Two. Hey, Marshmallow, says Coach j -Rum. I'm assuming you are calling GLM Marshmallow. GLM said, just got off work, walking over to L Ferry. <laughs> I got <gotcha. laughs> you. You take the ferry home, and you nickname it the L Ferry. I now understand what you mean by that. You see, GLM, you know I haven't paid too much attention to any of that drama crap, right? 
I have not paid much attention to it at all. I've just been doing my own thing. I've been way too busy. My lady and I have so many things that we've been working on behind the scenes. But I gotta say, GLM, my lady and I both appreciate your kindness, you know, that you've shown us lately. We really truly appreciate it. You know, no joke. I know we had some fun at times and I get that. It's all good. But we do appreciate your kindness. Thank you for that. So yeah, how many of you saw the thumbnail today? Nobody's questioned the, the, the thumbnail. And this is a, this is an out of sequence show here today. Yesterday I did Walking With Purpose episode number 397. This is not episode 398, that'll happen tomorrow. This is an impromptu filler. <laughs> I changed up my thumbnail. No stress, I call it like I see it, says GLM. Fifteen in the box, ten thumbs up. Thank you so much for being here. Please smash the thumbs up and share this out. Let's get as many people as possible here and have a good time. And feel free to ask any questions in the chat, business or personal related. And myself, along with my lady who's in the chat here, moderating, along with some of the other moderators and, uh, you know, content consumers. We can share our wisdom and help you out, help you accomplish whatever it is that your hearts desire. Just a beautiful day. I feel incredible, like... It's like 68 degrees right now. And again, I mean, there are a few clouds up there, but it's it's fairly clear still. I mean, there's a cloud over there that the sun's burning through, which is kind of helping right now because it's not as bright. <laughs> so I can see my screen a little bit better. <laughs> I'll tell you, even with Ray-Bans on, which are some of the best sunglasses out there, when that sun is right at your eye level, man, it's, it's, it's blinding. Give a thumbs up and show support. Thank you so much for that autism mom of two. Now, by the way, folks, uh, I'll share more about the question mark topic. None of you have mentioned my thumbnail, did you not click on the thumbnail to come in here or did you click on the notification? Like, no one clicked on the thumbnail today? I have not received one comment about my thumbnail. It's not the same usual thumbnail. <laughs> I guess you folks just wanna come in and, and start talking right away. Anyway, um, I did, I figured you'd explain. Oh yeah, yeah, we'll get to that in a second. Um, GLM says, the thumbnail is a question mark. What's with the thumbnail? Well, thanks for asking, GLM. <laughs> okay, I asked. Before we get to that, yesterday, folks, I did a a few shows um, that you got to check out, especially if you're a guy and you're struggling to date women or get a date or let's just be frank and say get laid, right? No, I'm not a channel that's out here to help guys get laid. I'm here to help guys you know, find true love and get a girlfriend, right? But, you know, you still need to have some pickup skills to pick up a woman that you want to eventually end up dating. And everything, no matter how you look at it, even if you and the person you're seeking are both, you know, looking for a relationship, everything always starts off as casual at first. 
until the woman at some point in the first, you know, six to 12 weeks, one and a half to three months until she comes out and says, hey, you know, where do you see this going? Like, how do you feel about me? And they're asking that at that point because they're so happy with the way things have been going. Now they want to make it official. And it's always the woman's job to make it official. It's not the man's job. You just hang out with the woman, have fun and hook up. Your job is to take her out on dates, hang out, have fun and hook up. That's it. Let her bring up the relationship when, it's the, when, the, when the right time for that is supposed to happen. Because it has to be more her idea. The relationship has to be her idea. And like I said, like I said yesterday, this is one of the main things that these incel guys don't understand. I was talking a lot about incels yesterday, involuntary celibates, right? And I was also explaining the difference between men that are monks or, you know, they're known as MGTOW monks. MGTOW is a group that started that term. It's a group called Men Going Their Own Way that has been talking about modern day female nature since women have been liberated. They've been doing that for decades now. So, you know, there are MGTOW monks which have decided to withdraw completely and they're content with their decision and they're not, they're not out here to be hateful and attack other men that still want to date and get married. But then you've got these incels, which the majority of these guys that are coming out here on the internet and complaining all the time and attacking other men are incels. They're involuntary celibates, right? And they act like little kids, right? They act like little kids with the stupid shit they do. And there are women that act like little kids on this platform too. Don't get me wrong. There are women that act like little kids too, right? But it's more so the men. And if you check out those two streams I did yesterday right here on Coach Eli, two authentic live streams, then also go to RJ Sandifer's channel or my community tab here on Coach Eli 2 Authentic Live Streams. I shared a link where I was talking about this for about 30 minutes before I did my two streams yesterday here. Uh, I was talking about this on RJ Sandifer's channel. Lots of great content there that will help you out if you're a man struggling to, you know, have a woman in your life. MGTOW men are too damaged to deal with. Well, it's true. They're angry and bitter. They're angry and bitter because women are not the same they used to be. Because, see, back in the days of traditionalism, GLM, women would date, like, overweight men, and they would date men that were unattractive and stuff like that, right, because they had money and they were able to provide. And these guys are out here complaining that nowadays... Women aren't just satisfied with men being able to provide. They want a good-looking man. They want a man that can rock their world in the bedroom. They want everything. And what's wrong with a woman wanting that, guys? If you as a man want that, why would it not be okay for your woman to want the same thing you want? Right? So these guys are living in the past. And they're out of shape. Like a lot of these incels that attack me out here on YouTube are out of shape, they're unattractive, they're, they, they, they can't get a woman, and if they do get a woman, she's horrifically unattractive, right? But most of them can't even get a woman to give them a handshake, right? And instead of bettering themselves so they can get a woman and be happy, they project, that's all they do, they project. Those are incels. And they're triggered at me all the time. They get triggered at me. And they talk all this smack about me because they're jealous of what I have and they don't have. They're jealous of everything. They're jealous of my family, myself, my looks, my personality, right? The way I carry myself, the way I speak, right? And here's the thing. The only way that these men will ever have a chance of turning things around is if someone like me and multiple people like me kick their ass and trigger them and, and annoy them so much to the point of where they're tired of hearing it and they do something about it. I hope at some point by me just, you know, 
I was going to say something, but I don't think it'd be YouTube friendly. I was going to say calling a blank a blank, but that could be taken offensive nowadays, right? You know, you know that the, 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 the number one card in a poker deck is the ace of S, right? You can't even say calling an S and S nowadays on YouTube, right? Because it could be, it could be uh, considered derogatory, even in the right context as a figure of speech, right? <sighs> Folks, I'm going to hop off the air for a second. I will be right back. All right. We should be back live. We should be back live. Got 13 in the box, 14 thumbs up. Thank you so much for being here. Hey, Casey, how you doing? We'll get to you in a second. The thumbnail's a question mark. What's with the thumbnail? We'll get that in a second here. Autism mom of two is curious to know. Uh, Casey says, hey, Eli, GLM, RMP, autism mom, headed out for my walk. I'll be listening in. That's great, Casey. I'm so proud of you, Casey. I can't stop saying how proud I am of you and Autism Mom of Two and, and, and everyone else here too. But you ladies in particular have taken the first step to accomplish things that initially were difficult to just get off the ground. And you know what? That's what makes it worth it for me to do this. Now, Casey, let me ask you this. Have you been stepping on the scale daily or have you been doing it weekly? And have you made any progress on your weight loss journey? Have you cut your calories down? Have you cut out your carbs and your sugars? Drinking more water or at least diet sodas or diet drinks? with fewer calories. I know they're not really that good for you, but it's better than drinking the regular ones with all the calories, in my opinion. Other people would question me, but I disagree with that. And, you know, you gotta, you gotta weigh yourself in the morning after you take a dump, Casey. Women take dumps too. I know that's something that we, we couldn't talk about with ladies in the past. It was like, not a cool thing. But nowadays... Like, my woman's like my best friend. My woman's my best friend, my best lover. Like, we, we talk about our shit all the time. And we smell each other's poop all the time. That's what happens when you spend time together, right? So you got to take a dump in the morning and not drink any liquid. So that way, your water weight won't be counted and uh, your stomach will be empty. But... I'm assuming you probably lost at least maybe two or three pounds by now. Maybe a little more. GLM says, Casey, autism mom of two. Hello, at Casey, hello. Have fun on the walk. Hey there, Casey and GLM, says my lady, respectfully, maturely, and professionally. Got 17 in the box here. Thank you so much for being here. Please smash the thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. GLM says, RMP. Casey says, no, I actually haven't weighed myself since I started walking, but I'm definitely drinking more water and no sodas, but I can't quit my sweet tea, LOL. Well, let me ask you this, uh, Casey, what kind of sweet tea do you drink? Is it the sweet tea that you buy in a can, like at a grocery store or a convenience store, like a gas station convenience store or something? Or is it sweet tea that you make on your own and add a lot of regular sugar in there? Because you can drink tea that's sweetened in different ways with sodium instead of sugar. Now, I understand too much sodium is not good either, but sodium has zero calories. See, the, the, the trick to losing weight is eating, drinking things that taste just as good as the real thing, but have fewer calories using substitutes like sodium instead of sugar, right? That's what they do with diet drinks. They load them up with sodium, which is salt. 180 milligrams of sodium. Shout out to Jack, says GLM. Women don't poop. Okay, that's great, GLM. 
then what do you do to rid of your waste? <laughs> Casey says, I need to get myself a scale. The last time I weighed myself was about four months ago at my brother's house. Let me make a recommendation, Casey. And I think this is still one of the top scales you can get. I'm sure there are more higher end ones, but an affordable high end decent scale for about a hundred bucks and maybe more. I got it for a hundred bucks four years ago. Look at the company White Things, W-I-T-H-I-N-G-S. Go to Amazon and look up W-I-T-H-I-N-G-S. It's a very nice scale. It's digital and it's uh, also a Wi-Fi scale. And there's an app that you can download on your phone, Android and Apple, iPhone. And it keeps track of yourself every time you weigh yourself. It also gives you an approximate for body mass index, fat percentage, water weight, right? Muscle percentage and all that. It's about, it was 100 bucks four years ago, but it may be a little bit more now. Maybe it's 130 bucks now. But when it comes to a scale, get a good one one time. Don't get a cheapo $20 scale that's plastic. It'll break. This one has a glass top on it. And you're going to want to get a Wi-Fi one with an app. Get the Wi things. Invest in yourself. I know it's 100, 100 to 130 bucks or something. But it's worth it. And it'll keep track of your weight or anyone else's weight. As long as you program it right. Without you having to do a damn thing. And it shows you charts and everything. It's beautiful. My lady's using it now to gain weight. She loves my scale, huh, baby? Coach J-Rob says, if you need nutrition coaching or fitness coaching, hit me up. That's what I do. Yes, that's what J-Rob does. You are sharing too much. Thank you, baby. You know I was just joking, and you know we're having fun, right? Sure will, at Coach J-Rob. Thank you. RMP, isn't that what he always does? LOL. Hashtag facts at Casey. You see, the reason why, the reason why, um, the reason why you can communicate so well with Casey, baby, you know, she's, I think, 34, almost 35, right? She's a millennial because your daughter's a millennial. So you, you, you have experience of dealing with millennials, baby. I don't. We're just messing with you, Casey. Kind of, sort of, but it's in a good way. She knows it. She knows it. It's all right. It's all right. Um, let me see here. Salty tea sounds delicious, says GLM. Casey says, no, I make my own with tea bags. I add my own sugar, and I probably add too much. It is what we consider Texas tea. If you've ever gotten tea from a place like Bush's Chicken, you might have an idea. Yeah, Casey, here's some advice. And I'll tell you where the cheapest place you can get this, even if you don't have a membership. Okay. And I know a lot of people will question me on this. Use sugar substitute. I'm telling you right now, Casey, that sugar that you're putting in your tea is going to, is going to prolong you from losing the weight. You got to cut out pretty much almost all sugars. So go to Costco.com. And I think for like $13.99, you can get a 1500 a box of 1500 packets of sweet and low it's the cheapest you can get it okay and use sweet and low don't get splenda don't get uh equal even though they're okay sweet and low is like the sweetest one right and the cheapest one too get 1500 packets of sweet and low and substitute that instead of sugar I use Stevia. Yeah, Stevia. I have Stevia too, but it's way more expensive, Coach j -Rom. You know how expensive Stevia is. I found a good deal on Stevia seven or eight years ago. They were selling them in a box of, of 1000 And normally, I think it was like 70 or 80 bucks. And I think I got it for 30 bucks Because my ex-girlfriend, the, the veterinarian, way back, this was before the Dana days, she liked stevia and i haven't used it i still have it it never goes bad but yeah stevia is actually good stuff and it does taste pretty good you're right coach j rob but it's pretty damn expensive it's the most expensive sugar substitute but it's probably the healthiest one too yeah if you can afford stevia go for that that's not a bad idea 
if you're on a budget, you know, get the sweet and low for, you know, for like $13.99 for 1,500 packets at Costco.com. You don't need a membership to shop on the site. Just select, you know, shop as non-member and they'll ship it to you within two days. Now, you'd have to order 75 bucks or more to avoid, I think it's like a, a $12.99 delivery fee, but I'm sure you can find some other stuff you need on there. Or buy a bunch of boxes. Yeah, I like Stevie, my brother uses that. Well, yeah, whatever you do, Casey, you gotta substitute that real sugar for, for you know, a zero calorie sweetener, because if not, it's going to be harder, in my opinion, it's going to be harder to lose that weight. You can still do it, but it'll take longer, right? Is honey good as a replacement for sugar or syrup? Well, honey has sugar in it. Uh, you know, a lot of honey, honey has natural sugar. There are lots, there's lots of calories in honey. It's natural sugar, and it's not necessarily bad for you, you know... But, but it's still sugar. It's natural sugar. Honey has a ton of calories in it. If calories are not an issue for you, NC is queen, go for it. If calories are an issue, you got to use sugar substitute until you get to the weight level that you want to get to. That's in my opinion. That's what's worked for me. Thanks, she says. I love honey on my chicken nuggets. Well, I do too. But that's why I walk every day so I can have some sugar every now and then. I don't need a whole lot of sugar, but I have my sweet tooth every now and then. My lady loves sugar. And local honey is a natural antibiotic. Yes, it is, baby. So whenever you have the flu, the best honey to get is local organic honey. Well, now they call it organic. It's always been organic. You know, this fancy word organic, all it means is that it's local and, and, you know, made locally without any processing or anything, right? Straight from the source, right? So local honey, like they call local organic. Yeah, basically it derives from all of the pollens in your area, baby, right? And basically, you know, will help you from getting the flu on top of using the flu shot. But local honey is very expensive, right, baby? You get a little teeny tiny jar for like 20 bucks. And I'm like, shit, I can buy a gallon at Costco for 20 bucks. <laughs> you pay more for the good stuff. That's all I got to say. If you can afford it, go for it. If not, Costco is your next best option. Getting it in bulk. I like liquid stevia powder sweeteners have melted dextrose and it has higher place semantic index, glycemic index than sugar. Oh yeah, the liquid stuff. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I'll have to look into that. Yeah, I know they have a liquid form and that's still pretty expensive, but it's probably a lot easier to even use the liquid form. I like having packets um, because they're typically cheaper and I, I get the feeling like I'm having coffee at a restaurant, you know, where they give you that little packet tray, right? see here oh yes at nc is queen it is natural sweet no artificial sugar they say it's better than sugar yeah but it still has a ton of calories if you're talking about honey autism mom of two yeah it is actually better than sugar and it is natural that the honey but there's still lots of natural sugar which equals calories and what happens to sugars sugars turn into carbs and carbs turn into fat and your body and, and it's still considered 
a simple carb. So it goes right through you. And then you want more and more and more, right? Right? And the more and more you eat, and the more and more honey you use, the more calories you intake, the more, the more of a chance of going over your caloric maximum for your day. I think we can get people to more so realize, you know, how calories work, how the caloric system works. It's all about calories in, calories out. You got to figure out how many you need based on your height and your weight. As you lose weight, you need less calories. When you weigh more, you need more calories. So you need to cut your calories down to lose weight. And as you continue losing weight, your caloric needs go down. So you need to readjust and further cut back according to, you know, your new numbers based on your new height and weight. All the charts are online. Do a Google search for them. Is West Coast 26 Pinoy here? How you doing, bro? 16 in the box, 16 thumbs up. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. Let me see. And who, Naman, what about Salty Tea and in Tagalog, LOL? I thought you guys were talking about something else. Two cups of sugar in a gallon of tea means every 32 ounce glass is 400 calories. Sounds about right to me. Oh yeah. That's a lot of fucking calories. I mean, when you're trying to lose weight, that's a lot of calories. Casey, I, I, I okay, I can't guarantee anything. I was going to say that, but I bet you. More so than not, when you cut out that sugar with sugar substitute, you're going to start to see a big notice pretty quickly. As long as you continue walking every day and you cut back on your calories like you have been. So a lot of people, this is, the, this is what people don't realize. And I'll get to the question mark here in a second. I'll get to the question mark thumbnail here in a second a lot of people get frustrated when they're on a diet because oh i cut back i don't eat any of these foods right i cut back on all the food i'm not eating as much my question to you is what are you drinking are you drinking a two liter bottle of soda that's like eight nine hundred calories there a thousand calories i believe almost right are you drinking beer lots of calories there even the the you know the light beer which tastes like crap usually has calories in it, right? A lot of people don't realize that half the battle of losing weight is cutting out what they drink. They don't even realize they're drinking them they're they're drinking themselves to obesity. And I'm not even talking about alcohol. I'm talking about sodas and frappuccinos, like the frappuccinos. Yeah. Those frappuccinos, those big ones, have a shit ton of calories in them. And it tastes good, right? And nothing wrong with having one every now and then once you get to your actual, you know, goal weight. But when you're trying to lose weight, you got to cut all that crap out. You got to discipline yourself. And, and when you start disciplining yourself, when you start to lose the weight, it's going to motivate you to keep disciplining yourself because you're going you're gonna to want to see the results continue. Trust me. I've been, I've been through this many times. I've yo-yoed plus 20, 30 pounds several times in my life. Energy drinks are very popular today. Well, see, energy drinks have zero calorie too. Like, I love energy drinks, and they're not the greatest for you. But I drink Monster Zero Sugar. That big ass, what is it, 20-ounce can or whatever it is, right? Is, uh, is like 10 or 20 calories. The, the regular one, same size, is over 200 calories. Do the math. If you have a couple of those a day, that's 400 calories of the regular. If you drink the, the zero sugar, which tastes pretty good, in my opinion, it's 40 calories. 40 calories versus 400. 
Look at the difference right there. That's what you folks have to look at. There's a difference in you losing weight and not losing weight. It's right there. Two teaspoons of sugar is 32 calories. Yeah, I thought it was 15 calories per teaspoon. Yeah, so it's what's around 16, 32. And then when they say 15, it's probably just rounding it down a little bit. Yeah, that makes sense. You're right. You're right, Coach J. Ron. I used to drink my coffee when I was younger. I'd have to put like literally six teaspoons and a small cup of coffee to get it to taste right. And what I was doing, I was putting 90 calories of sugar in my coffee, plus, plus the creamer. Another 20, 30, or 40 calories, right? You're looking at, you know, 120 calories for a small cup of coffee. And if you drink four or five of them, what's that, five, 600 calories in coffee before you've even eaten anything, right? So now I use Coffee Mate from Costco. It's a great creamer. It's low in calories, and I use and I use uh, uh, sweet and low, zero calories. And I have a big mug of coffee, which is equivalent to like maybe you know three cups of standard, you know, of the standard size coffee cup, right? And each one of those cups, probably maybe 30 or 40 calories because of the creamer. That's it. That's not too bad for one big cup of coffee that's equivalent to three of the standard size cups like, like, like you would get at a coffee shop. Perhaps sounds delicious right now, says GLM. You know, West Coast, who's Espanol? <laughs> Man, I won't even I won't even say that. I, I can't say that on the monetized channel. West Coast, who's Espanol? Your recommendation as a joke for the quickest way to lose weight. You're probably right, though. I mean, you see a lot of those very anorexic women that have done that drug, which is why they're that thin. Doesn't that like totally like kill their hunger? Give me a second here, folks. Got 17 people here in the box. 17 thumbs up. Thank you so much for being here. Please share this out. Please like the stream. S subscribe, bang the bell, and select notifications if you already haven't done so. I can't keep up with the chat. It's going too fast right now. I drink Coke Zero, says Holly's Haunting and Happenings. Hey, Holly, how you doing? Folks, I can't, I, I can't keep up with the chat. I'll answer what I can. It's just getting way too busy. How are you doing, Holly? Thank you so much for being here. So, folks, just to remind you all that this channel is primarily supported through crowdfunding. And you can make a donation any amount in one of many ways. You can hit the super chat at the bottom of the chat there or the super sticker. This channel has been monetized for a couple months now. You can also uh, donate by a cash app or PayPal. Nightbot has been sharing my cash app and PayPal links every seven minutes in the chat or just go to paypal.me forward slash coach Eli on PayPal, paypal.me forward slash Coach Eli, or on Cash App, you can go to dollar sign, the real Coach Eli. 
And as always, donations are greatly appreciated, but they are not required. And, you know, in the weeks and months ahead, and this is with no offense to anyone here, my lady and I are going to start to be promoting, we're going to start to promote more paid services. That doesn't mean anything else will change. We're just going to start to, you know, mention donations more often. We're going to also start to promote our paid services more often. Her and I have been in progress of creating a great marketing plan behind the scenes. I'm also going to be uh, updating my website very, very soon and probably add some more content there that you can't get on YouTube. Some of it will be free. Some of it will be, you know, behind a paywall. And I want to make it very clear that anything I put behind a paywall, you can't, you know, you can't stop people from stealing it. But all I can say is this. If people do end up stealing that stuff, right, re-uploading it, you folks can still support it financially if you want to and view it the right way. The right people will support it monetarily. And the people that want to play games and steal content will continue doing that. And that's just the way it is. And that's just the way it's always been. Like a lot of people don't realize, you know, piracy has been around for a long time, right? And it was a problem with uh, music in the early days with Napster and all that. And now they've found a way to take care of that. But the music companies almost went broke. It was really, really bad for a while. And then, you know, the Digital Millennium Copyright Act changed everything. And uh, a lot of sites started getting shut down. And now artists are being compensated fairly again. And there's a lot more opportunity. There are always going to be people that are going to try to shortchange you, right? You don't focus on those. You focus on people that want to support you. Now, I'm also probably going to be um, creating an email list through MailChimp. In the meantime, I ask you folks to go to my website, register on my website for free. Because eventually, I'm going to start sending out, you know, emails fairly regularly, maybe one or two a day to update you folks on content. Because, you know, like you, we can't depend on YouTube and other social media platforms to always get you notifications. If you want to get everything and be kept aware of everything and even get some more behind the scenes stuff, there's a lot more. Like I mentioned yesterday, I think, on my walk, I'm going to be taking some great pictures with my uh, Sony A6400 mirrorless digital camera. It's like 24.3 or 24.4 megapixel, right? And it's really funny. I, I was scrolling through one of the trolling streams and one of these trolls out here that's an incel was saying, I bet he doesn't even know what a raw file is. He just uses JPEG. I know what raw files are. They're the big ass files uncompressed, you, you moron. I know more about the internet than all you fucks combined. Eli doesn't know what a raw file is. But here's the thing. What these morons don't understand is that when you're displaying images on the internet, you don't use raw files. You shoot it in raw, and then you compress it to high-quality JPEG. So it looks decent enough and loads up quickly on your mobile device or your computer's web browser. You're not going to use 25 to 50 megabyte picture files. You'll, you'll use 5 megabyte files. I just thought that was funny. I, 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 you know, sometimes I'll scrub through stuff, right? Just for shits and giggles, right? These people 
some people just want to so badly be better than me and I'm not even trying to be better than them. They want to want to so badly try to prove that they know more than me that they say the dumbest things. Oh, Eli doesn't know what a raw file is. He, he only deals with JPEG compression. That's what you use on the internet. You shoot in raw, you compress to JPEG when you're going to display it dynamically on a website, you moron. What is that? You know what? Something is there. Somebody left something on that chair or on that bench, I mean. It looks like a bag of trash. That's nice of them to leave their trash behind. They should be picking it up. It's pretty damn rude. Litter bug. If I didn't have this selfie stick in my hand, I would pick it up and throw it out. But I'm doing the show. We've got uh, 14 thumbs up. Sorry, 14 in the box, 19 thumbs up. I said, eat fish and drink a smoothie like mixed with berries and vegetables. Yeah, a lot of those smoothies are pretty good. The thing with the smoothies, they're healthy for you, but they still have a lot of calories. You got to understand, like even some of the healthy stuff, if you're going to drink, like for example, if you're going to have one of those smoothies for breakfast, that's all you eat. You eat nothing else because... Because those smoothies have a shit ton of calories. They're the right calories, and they're the right nutrients, but they still have a lot of calories. Remember, it's calories in, calories out. So those things that you're talking about, Fizzin, a.k.a. West Coast, Tuas Espinoy, those are meal replacements. And they give you good energy, so that way you have enough energy and you don't overeat until your next meal, which is typically lunch. Then maybe you have another smoothie at lunch or something else. And then you have a sensible dinner and then you're good. Now you can also spread it out across, you know, five smaller meals. But the bottom line is you got to stay within your caloric maximum. And if you're trying to lose weight, you got to be at least 500 calories below your caloric maximum that your body burns naturally and between between naturally and working out, that is, right? Bottom line, it's calories in, calories out. That's the bottom line. And for every 3,500 calories that you expend, which is, you know, eat less than your body burns, you lose one pound of fat. It's much easier to overeat 3,500 calories a day than undereat, right? Because there's no way you can, you can expend... 3,500 calories in a day unless you're like a thousand pounds and you cut your calories down to like 2,000 but most of you are under 200 pounds so you there's there's no way to expend enough calories in a day to lose a pound per day and when the scale fluctuates it's water weight it's not fat you're looking at fat loss as your goal True weight loss is fat loss. It's not water weight. Water weight will fluctuate. Thirteen in the box, nineteen thumbs up. Got to see what it is, Eli. It's not gonna bite you. Yeah, you know, I was thinking there's no way. I mean, it's not impossible to see a snake out here, but it's very rare because it's not hot enough. I mean, it can't get hot enough, but this is not this is not the the environment for snakes. You're not going to see them here. I've never I've never seen any type of snake here, rattler or gopher or anything. And because it's by the water, typically it's it's not hot enough. And this is like maintained so well that snakes like to hiding the grass you know that's why they call it you know snake in the grass right
My lady likes to watch that show on TV now, that reality TV show, Snake in the Grass. Okay, seriously, what's with the question mark? I'll get that in just a second. You won't get demonetized because it is a legal term in the dictionary, but yeah, I was joking. No, I know, bro. I just don't feel the need to say that. You wouldn't get demonetized unless you actually showed it in the video or did it in the video. And in that case, you'd probably get shut down, or at least that video would be removed. So, yeah, no, the question mark was just something that uh, I wanted to do different today. Just something that uh, I, I wanted to try on you, just plain thumbnail, and see if people still realize or recognize it's me. It was more like a like a test. It, this is this has been basically a question and answer show, just hanging out. So that's why I put the question mark in there with the three dot dot dots because it's like an open forum of questions today. But I wanted to see if my regular audience, you know, still showed up or didn't show up or was affected by it. And it seems like you guys are here. Now, some of you get notifications. Some of you see it in your home feed. A lot of people, you know, they're used to seeing similar thumbnails and they know it's you and they'll just click on you because they know your thumbnail. But this was, a, this was a new thumbnail. So I was just kind of testing out something new. And I wanted to do an out-of-sequence show because tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to be doing um, episode number... 398 of walking with purpose Saturday I'm gonna spend the whole day with my lady I may do a walk possibly on Sunday and if that's the case episode number 400 will happen on Monday if not 399 will happen on Monday and 400 will happen on Tuesday from a special location was the question mark clickbait no, how would it be clickbait when we're answering questions? It was a, you know, different type of thumbnail to see if my regular audience would still know it was me or if basically, you know, you guys didn't show up or, or if you guys didn't show up. I was looking to see how you, my regular audience, my pre-established audience, would respond to it and you guys were still here I don't think it really affected you guys one way or the other but no it's it's not clickbait because this is a question and answer show that's the point I just didn't want to I took out my picture I took out the verbiage I put a big black background and a big white question mark and the title, question mark, dot, dot, dot. Dating and business coach in parentheses, and that's it. You know, I'm trying some different approaches to marketing as well. A lot of things that my lady and I have been talking about behind the scenes. She's also my business partner. Grass rocks, shoes, and don't forget rat in the kitchen. Absolutely. Got to see what it is. Eli, it's not going to bite you. No, it won't. <laughs> and no, it didn't. It was trash. Folks, please get your questions, comments, and concerns in the chat. We're going to be going off the air in about uh, 10 to 12 minutes or less. Who's around tonight? I may end up doing another show tonight. Who's around tonight? And who would like to see me do another show from the studio tonight? And if so, 
what's the latest that you're going to be up in your time zone? And please mention your time zone when you, when you respond, if you do. I really do need to get some other content going on the main channel, but um, right now, you know, my lady and I have been focusing a little more on Coach E like two because we've been reconnecting with some people and we're looking to build some collaborations, rebuild some past collaborations, and we got some new ones coming in. And there's just a lot going on. And, you know, live content is a lot easier to create than pre-recorded content that, you know, takes more prep time, more editing in some cases, and other stuff like that. And right now, my Coach Eli 2 channel is getting a lot more traction than my main one because I haven't really, I haven't really <laughs> done much on the main one lately. It's, a, it's another monetized channel. It's been monetized for three and a half, almost four years. There's a lot, lot, lot coming up. And we're going to continue to move forward. Um, I have to say I'm very proud of the people that uh, are moderators here. I'm also proud of the other people that are not mods that, are, that have been coming around regularly. I'm proud of the people I'm connected with behind the scenes. You're a very, very elite group of people that are very, very trustworthy. I'm very grateful and thankful for you folks. And my lady and I both appreciate your support throughout many, many various crazy adventures I've dealt with out here. And my lady has in the short time she's joined me for the last six months or so. <clears throat> West Coast is Pinoy. Eli, did you check out my reaction video I did about men being misled on YT. I'm going to do that tonight. I didn't get a chance to do it last night, bro. My lady called me and I was talking with her for a little bit and then I was just wiped out, man. But I will check it out and I'll even share it on my community tab. Are you going to leave it public, bro? You're going to leave that video public, right? I'll share it on my main channel and Coach Eli to uh, both community tabs. Now, aren't you close to 500 subscribers? West Coast to 206 Pinoy? You'll be getting a community tab soon. Because you know they lowered the threshold to 500, like, I think it was late last year when they did that. Or earlier this year. At West Coast, Tua Sixpenor, I will sub. Can you put in here? Yeah, go ahead and share your link. Any mods can share their links. Go right ahead. How about helping me get to 500 subs by next week, Eli? I'm at 4.30 right now. Well, I'll tell you how we'll do it. Let's, let's do a stream together. When are you free to stream? Anytime but tonight. When are you free to do a show? West Coast, 206 Pinoy. We will get you to 500 in no time. I know the people over here will subscribe to you if they already haven't. And you know what happens when I go on someone's channels. You get, you get my beautiful, wonderful, amazing, kind and generous trolls. The incels. Those incel men that continue to continue to love on, love upon me let's put it that way or love up on me right
you know West Coast two six Pino, you know those guys that talk smack about me are are definite hundred million percent incels, right, brother? We could talk more about them on your channel, and they'll come. And then you know what you do, bro? You you actually you use subscriber only mode. So when you set up your stream, you select participant mode on the back end of YouTube. Participant mode, you select subscribers, and then select any duration. So that way, they don't have to wait to chat. Once they subscribe. They chat. You'll get to 500, maybe by the end of the stream, maybe by the end of the week after the replay goes out. How does that sound? I'm free on Saturday evening. How about you? I may be free then if my lady's cool with it. Let me check with my lady because we were going to plan on doing something all day Saturday, but we may be back by that time. Let me check with my lady and I'll get back to you. Do you have your email, West Coast 206 Pino on your channel? Is there an email you have? Or just email me at Coach Eli at coach.eliasmelis.com. And we'll make it happen. Or connect with me on Facebook, Elias Dimitri Mellis. Just connect with me on, on Facebook Messenger. Yeah, that's to Facebook Messenger. That's the best. Well, yeah, then just go ahead and send me a Facebook Messenger request at Elias Dimitri Mellis. Okay, let me see here. I keep hearing. What is that noise I keep hearing? Was it that lady that was talking on her phone over there that, that I was hearing all the way over here? I don't know where that's coming from, but anyway, it's kind of tripping me out here. All right, folks, seven in the box, 19 thumbs up. Thank you so much for being here. We're not done with the show yet. I don't know where half of you just went. Half of you just said, all right, the show's almost over. I am out. Peace out, Coach Eli. No more watch time for you, Coach Eli. I don't need it anyway. It doesn't matter, but you know what I'm saying? Average view duration does matter, though, so you guys staying around helps that out, helps the replay out. I don't know where it's, somebody's, like, really loud or there's some kind of, like, event going on or something. It's like some megaphone. Is this like some like fitness class happening? I hear some chick's voice with like a megaphone. 15 seconds. Come on, ladies. Come on, ladies. Get those hands up. Let's totin, totin. Let's tighten that tummy. I mean, a totin. Let's tighten that tummy. Remember the Richard Simmons days? Come on, ladies. Let's get it going here. Let's firm up that booty. I wasn't hearing things. Somebody's talking on some megaphone or something. It's all good. Thanks for the support, everyone. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're very welcome, West Coast 206 Pino. We're going to get you there, bro. Hey, anyone. Look, here. here's the thing. Here's the truth of the matter, right?
What the? Almost sounds like a cop megaphone. I'm really, really getting distracted by that. I'm getting... That's gotta be some fitness group or something. <laughs> Sorry, that was distracting. Oh, what I was gonna say is this, my, uh, if my lady and I can get a second channel monetized while being severely attacked by trolls and haters on YouTube, while several people rebroadcasting us daily and all that, any one of you can get monetized. We can help anyone do it. Wow, this dude is going really, really fast here. I'm crossing the street. This dude's going like 40 miles an hour, like in a 25. Yeah, he slowed down when I was coming, though. Today's just been a real busy day here. Lots of people just coming in and out at the time I was walking past the front of the apartment complex. So yeah, before we get on out of here, who wants me to go live tonight? If you want me to go live tonight on Coach Eli 2 for an hour or so, and it's not going to be probably until about 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific, put a 1 in the chat. If not, put a 2. I know there aren't. There's only eight people left here. If you want me to go live tonight, if I get at least two ones, I'll go live tonight. I'm gonna wait just another minute or so. And as I do that, I'm gonna reset the chat. I'll be right back. All right, we are back live. We are back live. Autism mom of two with the one. Just one more one in the next 30 seconds and I will go live tonight. One more one in the next 30 seconds and I will go live tonight. 25 seconds. Come on. GLM says one. Well, I guess the court of public opinion wants me to come back. So we'll see you tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. The incels will be watching too. No doubt about that. My lady says one. Hey, babe, thank you. How about we put on a show for the incels tonight? <laughs> no, just kidding. We're going to just do our thing. We're going to do our thing. All right, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Have yourselves a good one. Take care. And as always, be good to each other.